All right, today today we'll be solving dynamics problem 4C3. So in this problem, we are given a tugboat is pulling a barge at the initial speed VA1. Um, we are given VA1, VB slash A, which is the speed that the tug is pulling the barge in uh, on a winch or a cable. Uh, we have MA, MB, and delta T. Now delta T is the time where the tug uh, turns off its engines and is just pulling the barge in with the winch. Now, during this time, we really want to find what VA2 is and the force of tension on the cable. Now that we have everything set up, we are ready for our solution. Now the first thing we're gonna do for the solution is look at a free body diagram of the system. So here we're going to have points A and B Each of these points are connected, it's one system. Each of these points has a weight force and a normal force acting on it. So I'm going to call the weight forces W, this is WA, and this is WB. The normal forces will be called N, NB, and NA. Now we can sum the forces, so the sum of the forces equal to N A plus N B minus W A minus W B. Uh, but since the system is in equilibrium in this direction, uh, we know that N is equal to W. If they weren't, the tugboat would either be flying or sinking. So the sum of the forces here is equal to Therefore, linear momentum is conserved. And this allows us to use the conservation of linear momentum equations. And the equation we'll be using here today is MA VA2 plus MB VB2 is equal to MA V A one plus M B V B one. And to solve this problem, we also need the relationship of the V B A. So we're going to write out V B A is equal to V B minus V A. And that can simplify, well, we can really specify that VBA is only happening uh, at V2. Uh, so we're going to have VB2 minus VA2. And that further simplifies to, well, we can rearrange and set VB2 equal to VBA plus VA2. And now that we have VB2 solved in this way, it allows us to plug that back into our original equation and solve. We also need the relationship that VA1 is equal to VB1. Because at the beginning, uh, since MA is pulling MB, they will have the same velocity. Okay. So all of that added together, we're going to get MA VA2 plus MB times the quantity VBA plus VA2 is equal to MA VA1 plus MB VB1. With that done, I'm going to combine a few steps here of simplifying, and we're going to get VA2 all on one side and everything else on the other side. Uh, so that includes distributing and then rearranging a little bit. So that's going to leave us with VA2 times MA 
plus mv is equal to ma va1 plus mv vb1 minus mv vba. Okay, and from here, we're just going to divide all this to the other side. VA2 is equal to MA VA1 plus MB VB1 minus MB VBA. We divide all that by MA plus Looking back and checking our variables, VA2 is what we're solving for. We are given MA, VA1, MB, VB1. It's not given, but is equal to MA1. We're given MB, and VBA, and MA, and MB. Therefore, based on our givens and our work, we have a completed solution for VA2. So we've got our first find, VA2, and now we'll be looking at the tension force in the pulley, or in the uh, cable, I'm sorry. So now we will only look at one of the masses to find the internal force that is the tension force. So I will choose to look at mass A, the tug, and as uh, stated up here, we've got the normal force on that. The weight force, Na and uh, Wa respectively, and then we will have the tension force, I'll call F sub T, as we did earlier, um, and so from this we can set up our linear momentum, linear impulse equation, so I'll write that as from times 1 to 2, the sum of our forces, dt, is equal to the mass of A, times the velocity of A2, which we found up here, uh, minus mass of A, velocity of A sub 1, which we are given. So then I can simplify in our J direction, all of this, these cancel out. So we've got uh, the sum of the forces in our J direction are equal to zero. So then, everything we've got here is just in our I direction, put a hat above that. And then we've got the tension force, delta T, which, and, uh, little t, which we are given, equals our mass of A, VA2, minus mass of A, sorry, VA1. And then we can solve uh, algebraically for the tension force here. Uh, sub T equals mass of A, VA2 minus VA1 all over delta T. And that is the solution for the tension force.